Hey guys, Rob again with the Hobby King X650 quad. This is the uh, one with the extended arms and I'm now running the GoPro on the front. It's actually turned on and recording so I just want to see if there's uh, any change in how it performs. But um, so far I'm really happy with it. It's using 14 by 47 props and uh, lower KV Sunny Sky Motors than my other one, 700 KV. It's giving me about two minutes extra endurance on the same batteries. Let's just get airborne. But it's just rock stable. It's just amazing. Lots and lots of power with these motors and uh, propellers. Using 30 amp uh, ESCs and at the end of a 10 minute flight they come down just slightly lukewarm to the touch so there's no issues there. The motors are cool. But uh, yeah, I've just got the camera recording at the moment. That's fairly high, and this is much bigger uh, span from motor to motor, so it's easy to see. It's uh, pointed directly towards uh, Centre Point Tower now, I think, in the city. I don't know if you can see it from where I am, but go a bit higher. Looks like I've got the GPS puck positioned correctly because uh, there's absolutely no toilet bowl effect on this quad. Yeah, that looks alright. Okay, and yeah, we'll just come down. And what I'll do is I'll just try something. I'll just fly forward while I'm descending. Try and minimise the, uh, the vibration that happens when you fly through your own propeller wash. Okay, that's great. What I'm going to do now is a return home. Using failsafe, just flicking on the failsafe. It'll pause there for six seconds. It should climb. There it goes, climbs, should turn around, come back and land. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much right over the takeoff position. Just perfect the way it does uh, an automatic landing. I love it. Okay, how to fail safe, recycle, and let's go again. Yeah, it's really nice, this one. I've got the uh, gains set fairly high on roll and pitch, but a little bit lower on uh, the attitude. So it's slightly less responsive, but it seems to be a really good match with the roll and pitch gains. There's no oscillation at all. And it doesn't feel spongy. It just feels like there's a fairly decent response that's uh, coordinated to the stability of the quad.
but yeah the height holding is just fantastic with the felt around the flight control board I think that's going to be my uh, standard method of mounting the NASA or shielding it I should say Okay, so it's just in uh, hands off, GPS altitude and position hold now. And I've got it uh, against the background so you can see any relative movement. You see it's very, very small. Yeah, that's working really well. just rock steady in uh, altitude and position hold. I've got another four minutes of flying before the low voltage will kick in. Okay, we'll do one more return home and auto land. Once again, that's landing almost exactly in the takeoff position. So, uh, yeah, absolutely perfect. Okay, thanks for watching.